بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُوا مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَطَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْمٍ سَلِيمٍ That on the day of judgment, nothing will benefit them, their wealth, their children. The only thing that will benefit is who comes to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with a sound heart, a heart free of pride, arrogance, jealousy, ostentation, desires, lust, love of this world. Rather, having humbleness, love of Allah and His Messenger وسلم, goodness towards the creation of Allah, no desire to sin, desire to be obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and His Messenger وسلم. And Allah Ta'ala says the paradise is a pure place and it is only given to people who are pure, who have achieved the purification of the heart, who have got, who have got the soundness of the heart. ذَلِكَ جَزَاءُ مَنْ تَزَكَّى this is the reward for the people who have purified their hearts. And Prophet ﷺ was sent as the person who, who purified the hearts of the people. Prophet ﷺ was sent as a means to purify the hearts of the people. We also have to get our purification of the hearts. We also have to find the means. We all we have to struggle. Because there is no other way, there is no way out. We have to find the means. And when we struggle in the path of Allah to get our hearts purified, Allah Ta'ala's promise is that He will surely help us. Whoever struggles in my way, I will surely, surely, surely guide him to my way. At the end of the day, it's Allah Ta'ala who purifies. وَلَوْلَا فَضْلُ اللَّهِ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَتُهُ مَا زَكَى مِنْكُمْ مِنْ أَحَدٍ أَبَدًا وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ يُزَكِّي مَنْ يَشَاءٍ If it was not the grace and the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on you, none of them, not even one of you would have been able to get the purification of the heart, but it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who purifies whoever He wishes. But we have to take the means. And that is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has ordered us in the Qur'an that we have to be with the people who have purified their hearts, the truthful people, so that in their company we also get the, our purification. Ya ayyuhal ladheena amanu, ittaqullaha wa kunu ma'a sadiqeen. O you who believe, fear Allah and be with the righteous. وجب الشكر علينا ما دعا لله دا أيها المبعوث فينا جئت بالأمر المطاع جئت شرفت المدينة مرحبا يا خير دا طالع البدر علينا من ثانيات الوداع In order to have a pure heart, that heart has to be connected with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That heart has to know what pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and what displeases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So getting that knowledge, that sacred knowledge is necessary. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves the people who gain sacred knowledge. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, يَرْفَعِ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا مِنْكُمْ وَالَّذِينَ أُوتُوا الْعِلْمَ دَرَجَاتِ That Allah ta'ala will raise in ranks those of you who believe and those who have been given knowledge. At another place, Allah ta'ala says, قُلْ هَلْ يَسْتَوِ الَّذِينَ يَعْلَمُونَ وَالَّذِينَ لَا يَعْلَمُونَ Tell all my beloved sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that the people who know and people who don't know can they be ever equal? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who was given 
the knowledge of the heavens and the earth, still Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him that he should ask Allah to increase in his knowledge. Qul Rabbi zidni ilma Say, O Allah, increase in my knowledge. So we must gain knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and act on it in order to get the purification of our hearts. Oh, no.